This video is going to look at the relationship between the value of the equilibrium constant K and whether or not a reaction is spontaneous or non-spontaneous based on the sign of delta G. As we know, when we have a negative value for delta G, this means that our reaction or our process is spontaneous, which means that it occurs all on its own without any input of additional energy or any sort of manipulation. A spontaneous process is one that proceeds readily or easily. And if we think about this in terms of a reaction, where we have our reactants that are being converted to products, if we have a reaction that is proceeding very readily or very easily, we're going to see it moving from the left to right direction in a large amount. So we're, we're going to be seeing a large accumulation of products relative to the reactants because this reaction is proceeding very readily from the left side to the right side. This is going to us result in us having a large value of K. We define a large value of K as being anything that is greater than 100. And another way that we would phrase this is that the reaction or the process favors the products. Meaning that because this reaction is occurring readily, it's occurring easily, we're moving from the right side to the left side, um, because it's spontaneous, we have a large amount of products, which results in a high value of the equilibrium constant K. Now, on the flip side of this, if we have a positive delta G, this, this means that the reaction is non-spontaneous. Um, and... That means that it does not proceed very readily if we're looking at a reaction going from reactants to products. We might see that it, the reaction is hesitant, it doesn't move in the left to right direction. There's a large quantity of reactants relative to products. This is going to result in us having a very small value of K. And we define a small value of K as one that is less than 0 0.01. So some number that is less than 0 0.01. And in words, we would describe this as a reaction that favors the reactants, meaning that it prefers to stay on the left side of the arrow. We don't see the reactants being converted into products.